Hello, long time no see. I haven't done one of these vlogs in such a long time and surprisingly we are out um, for the first time in the longest time ever. We're currently halfway through lockdown 2.0 in England at the moment. Um, everything is shut, basically everything that is non-essential is shut. But essential stuff like grocery shopping and GP practice and all of those things are open. But we can still go out to parks for walks and everything. So rather than going out to our local area for walks, we wanted to go to Ashton Court. We've been in Bristol for five years now and we've not gone out to Ashton Court at all. Um, and I so happened to find out that Ashton Court has an area where they've got miniature railway tracks. Um, it's a kind that you can ride on the train, but obviously it won't be open now, but at least the park area will be open. So we just wanted to go out for a walk. We thought a nice change in scenery will do us a little bit good. I was very, very agitated staying at home, not going out at all. And the weather has been quite rubbish, so we hardly could go out for walks, even you know during the day or weekend. It happens to be really sunny and nice today for a change so we thought okay this is it we have to make use of this chance um, it is a bit cold but it looks quite bright and nice so I've got my gloves on but yeah so we thought we'll just go out for a short walk hopefully there are no dogs one of the reasons why I chose the Ashton Court Miniature Railway that's our navigation oh we'll be there in about a minute actually um, one of the reasons why I chose Ashton Court Miniature Railway instead of the regular Ashton Court Park is because I'm hoping there won't be any dogs. No, we are not at our destination. Uh, okay, I need to get my phone out and find where we are. The navigation has taken us to nowhere and I don't see where the entrance is. That's probably the entrance. It's very busy here. Yeah? It's a lot of on-street parking. I think a lot of people must have had the same idea. So Long Ashton Park is literally here. <laughs> this baby Ashton Park is 850 miles or something. It's quite Basically, big. There's a lot of different, um, a lot of different entrances. We literally went from the Yeah. Slight change of plan. There was so much traffic and for some reason there were so many people headed towards the entrance that we wanted to go to and there wasn't any parking at all. So we changed our plan, continued driving straight and then ended up coming to Clifton Bridge. So we thought we might as well just park somewhere here and walk around Clifton Bridge. It looked like a lot of people probably had the same idea as us because the weather is so good. People are just out and about at the moment, enjoying the last bit of sun as much as they can before it starts raining again. So we're just going to be playing around here. Playing meaning playing with the drone. We brought the drone out as well, so we wanted to come here to fly it. And I suppose that's what we're going to be doing. More than a walk. It's just a drone time now then.
battery died halfway through as I was telling you something and I don't even remember what I was saying. So we're back home already now and I thought I'll just change my battery quickly. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I was saying that we didn't manage to take out our drone in Clifton Bridge at all because it was too crowded. We would definitely be the center of attraction and we needed to learn to use the drone properly anyway. So we were like, that's not the right time. So if you hear that, that's Lakshman. Um, so we stopped by an IKEA because I got a text from IKEA to say that my order was ready for pickup. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the vlog, we are halfway through lockdown 2.0. So instead of shutting completely, IKEA has now opened Click and Collect. So you can order anything you want. Anything up to £100 is free for Click and Collect. Anything lesser than that, you pay £5 or £10 or however much it costs to pick up. So I've ordered a bedside table because this is what I use at the moment. See, can you say that? It's actually a floating shelf that I got from IKEA. I didn't want one of those big bedside tables. I wanted the floating shelf because it was in fashion at the point. But this is like a proper fail because it's actually quite loose. I can't even put a table lamp on here. I can't put anything heavy on here at all. And off late, I found that I find it really, really difficult to sleep at night. So I'm awake quite a bit at night and I end up doing some work on my laptop or my phone or reading or you know whatever it is and I feel like I need to use a bedside table to put my things. It's difficult to put stuff back on the floor and then pick it up in the morning, be careful not to step on my MacBook in the morning when I wake up and all of those stuff. So I ordered one, I'll show you what it is. It kind of matches with this bed frame that I have. It's the same brand from IKEA itself. It's just one packaging. I ordered it yesterday and they told me that it will be ready for collection on Monday but I received a text today to tell me that it was ready and since we were somewhere nearby we were out and about closer to city and I thought I'll just pick it up. The text told me to have my ID ready. I didn't have any ID on me. I didn't take my purse or any of my cards or anything with me but all they wanted was a text and they wanted the order number that's it. So the guy picked it up and then he brought it to us. That was such good service. That's really really good for IKEA to do that and makes things so much more easier for people to buy things and you know carry on with their work and plants and everything. So Lakshan's fixing that. Let me show you what he's doing. And the bedside table is done! It was a bit faulty. I think one of the screws didn't work so Lakshan's fixed it anyway. It's got this little drawer. I got him to put in my phone charger through the back so that it's not lying up here. I didn't want anything out there. So the drawer is quite small, not that deep at all. Probably about three inches, less than three inches. At least I can put my book in here and then I can leave this. I use this ointment every time I have a headache, which is quite often nowadays. So <laughs> that's always by my bedside table. And I wouldn't have anything else to put in that drawer at all. But now I can confidently leave my drink on the table. And I've got one base over there. I need to sort out these wires here. That one's for Alexa and that's my phone wire. I'm just gonna do that later on. But that's done. It's only about 4.20 now. Um, I am going to watch a movie. I don't remember what it is, but I was a little bit cheeky two days ago. So we went and signed up for Netflix. I've already got Disney Plus and we've got Amazon Prime. But I just got bored because everything on Prime was not PG rated. Um, and everything on Disney Plus, I've already seen most of it and there wasn't anything new at all. So I got a little bit bored and downloaded Netflix because there are quite a lot of Christmas movies coming out in Netflix. This is how Sunday evenings should be. A cup of hot drink, Christmas lights on, and movie. This is a movie that I was talking about. Jingle Jungle, A Christmas Journey. I heard it's really, really good. I saw the trailer. I'm excited to watch the movie. I'll let you know how it is once it's finished. That was such an interesting movie. It was truly magical. It was truly um, food for thought as well. It's fictional and it's about two hours long or maybe even ever so slightly longer. It's a musical. I just felt that there were probably a bit too many songs but it was just very meaningful story throughout despite it being fictional. It was about believing in yourself also, you know, other than everything else that was happening in it. I'll just give you a gist of it without any spoilers whatsoever. 
because it's so good that I, I would really like you to watch it rather than me telling you the story. So this guy is an inventor. Some events happen and he stopped believing in himself and his own ability and you know the talents and gifts and everything that he has. It took his daughter, it took his granddaughter, it took so many other people to instill that back in him again, you know, to make him believe again and to make things happen again. It was such a meaningful thing. It's just not a regular Christmas story. It's not like, you know, one of those Christmas movies where you need to have a partner for Christmas. You can't be alone for holidays. It's going back, you know, to your family, family dinners. It's not only about family and family dinners. It is about family, but it's a lot more to it than that. In fact, I don't think it actually had so many relations with um, Christmas other than the fact that he was a toy maker. So, you know, they always come up with some fancy toys that every child would like to have for Christmas and that type of thing. Other than that, it was just so good. If you have Netflix, it is definitely worth watching. It has been somewhat a long day today, but I think it was quite enjoyable. We just went out. Nothing went according to our plan at all, but I just randomly picked up the camera and wanted to vlog today because I haven't done it in such a long time. I enjoyed vlogging. Let me know what you think about it. For some reason, I find this so much more relaxing so much more easier I don't need to like you know look at my setup and make sure I've got a good background and this and that and everything I don't have to be prepared for it I can just pick up my camera and you know show you what I'm doing or what I'm thinking and talk to you about it vlogs are one of the things that I enjoy editing as well it's so much more fun editing vlogs than a sit down video and putting cutaways and you know, B-rolls and all of those things. Let me know if you enjoy these vlogs and if you would like to see more of it. Of course, we're on lockdown at the moment, so there won't be so much to vlog about. But if I do go out and about a little bit here and there, then there is something to vlog and it makes it a little bit more interesting rather than me just sitting at home all day. Otherwise, all I have during the weekdays while I'm working is work, dinner, bed. That's it. Nothing else. Um, so that's it for today actually. I'm going to wind down now and get ready for bed. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know. Be sure to click like, comment and subscribe as well. And I'll see you again next week. Bye!